Hi everyone and welcome to another subscriber candle review. I'm excited to do another one of these reviews. I love doing these. I try to do one a week. So if you're interested in checking out any others, um, see what other candle makers are doing, try to learn little tips and tricks from other reviews and feedback, check out the playlist on the channel. Um, it uh, does go over a lot of different subscriber reviews. And like I said, we try to do at least like one a week. So hopefully you guys enjoy these. If you are new to the channel, my name is Wade. I'm the owner of Black Tie Barn. If you are interested in any other videos and content about candle making, tips, tricks, tutorials, uh, candle reviews, product reviews, fragrance oil reviews, and so on. We, we cover a lot of different topics, including running a candle business as well. So if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and dive in. So it looks like a priority flat rate box tucked in a mailer. So if this is the first review you've seen on this channel, basically what we do is the first part of this video is the unboxing, taking a look at the, the packaging, the presentation, the candles, the labels, really whatever the candle maker wants me to check out. Keep in mind that a lot of these candle makers aren't actually running businesses. They are just getting their feet wet. They're just hobbyists. Some are just tinkering around to see if they're going to enjoy doing it long term. And so sometimes the products are finished products and like this is what is on their website for sale. And in other cases, uh, the product might just be something they're working on and they just want some feedback why they are working on the product itself, not necessarily a complete final product yet. And then after I do the unboxing and checking out the visuals, I will do some testing with the candle. It usually takes several days up to a week. Um, and then I will, uh, the second part of this video, which is all within the same video, um, I will let you know how that testing went as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this letter from Dory. And I'm gonna summarize it because sometimes it's not information they want necessarily read word for word, but I will take a quick peek and look, summarize it for you. They said that most of their motivation and inspiration came from a music background, that it was an important part of their life. Uh, and I believe the name of this is called Music Melts. And they mentioned that they are just a hobbyist. They are really only working with coworkers, family, and friends just to try to get some feedback. Their color theme is lavender. So they've decided to make all of the products either colorless or lavender to match the brand, which I think it's a great idea. Some people use colorless across the board. Some people use dye across the board. And then others have a very specific uh, kind of theme they're going for. And so they're using colorless or lavender. And I think that's nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the box. So we have a thank you card first and foremost. And again, it does say music melts. For someone who's only doing this as a hobby right now, they're really doing a great job uh, with some of this branding. I think the color scheme is great. They've taken the time to uh, make little branding bonuses, a uh, little branded sticker here. Like I said, a custom thank you card. When I say that they're a hobbyist, they are selling it, but just to family and friends. So they don't have this, you know, a big established business yet. They're working towards that potentially. All right, so inside that envelope was a custom care card and it is specific to wax melts, how to use them and proper safety instructions as well. And this sheet of paper is really just a massive scent list. So everything that they offer in melts. So as you can see, this is a very, very nice looking box. It's almost like a little kind of gift looking box and there are several products in here. One thing I've noticed, and this will be a first here on this channel, is this review does not actually have a candle in it. This is specifically wax melts. So this is the first time we've only reviewed melts and there's nothing wrong with that. If you guys want me to check out your melts as well, I can definitely do that. We obviously won't talk about wicking and things, but we can still talk about the wax, the consistency, the hot throw from the, uh, from the melts themselves. You know, if there's any cute little custom designs in the melts, the colors, everything, right? So we can, there's still plenty to review when it comes to wax melts. So let's see what we got here. First one is called Voodoo. I'm going to set these aside after we pull them out here. Then we've got another little package here and then three clamshells. It feels like clamshells wrapped nicely in uh, themed tissue paper. That's actually really, that's a really nice idea. Love the color scheme. Love your little theme that you've got going on. Let's start off with this little package here. Okay, so because their entire um, product line here is wax melts, uh, looks like they offered various styles of wax melts. And that it looks like that's what we got here as an assortment. So the first one many of you are probably familiar with, it's like a shot cup. Um, and this is really nice because it's a cheap, quick, easy way to sell single melts, uh, but they're fairly large, so they still last a while. And then you could just put the fragrance right on top. This one's called Three Libras. There we go. And then you just put that in your melter. So this is very common for a single uh, scented product, but also as samples. So this is very common. Now we're gonna talk about the wax here in a minute. I assume this is the same wax used in all of these melt products since there's no wick involved. Usually when you make wax melts, you have one type of wax. So I will make a guess at the wax here at the very end, uh, but I wanna go ahead and make it through these products. This one smells really nice. Next one up is a wax bar, a wax melt bar. And these are sold in, well, like, like Hershey chocolate bars almost. 
and then you just snap them off. So you'll hear them called wax bars or melt bars or uh, snap bars. Function the same way as any other wax melts, except for you just break them off where you want. So you can break off two, four, one, even if you want. And this one is orange colored with a little bit of a mica. Now she said in her letter that she has decided since to really stick to colorless or lavender, but uh, I imagine this is one of the products she had before she decided on that. Anyways, I do think it's a really nice looking color though. And the mica act adds a little bit extra. This one is called September Sun. And you know, it does leave a little residue in these plastic bags. It's one of the things I, I, I've always struggled with that I, I didn't like so much about putting wax melts in little plastic bags is it leaves that residue behind. I don't know if you can see it. And it's just unavoidable. Wax melts, while they're firmer than candle wax, they're still, you know, they're still sort of soft. They're still gonna leave some smudge and some residue. Uh, it's really not a big deal, but if anyone is saying, oh, my wax melts are leaving, leaving residue, that's totally normal. It really is. It smells really, really nice as well. It definitely smells like an outdoor, fresh spring summery fragrance. Whereas this one's a little bit more floral and perfumey. This one's a little bit more unique to me. Um, I've smelled several like the Three Levers before. This one's a little bit more unique. It almost kind of has that harvest fragrance, which September sun, harvest, fall. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more fall for sure. I actually enjoy that one as well. Now let's move over to this next one called Voodoo. Now, the first thing I've noticed about this one is I really like, um, Remember their, their entire business is really based on music and that was their inspiration. And these are little musical notes. And this one's straight lavender, or I believe, it smells like lavender to me. And this is really good. I, I, over the years, have started to grow more fond of lavender. It's still not a favorite of mine, but I used to not be able to stand lavender. It just reminded me of kitty litter. I've mentioned that in other videos in the past. And some of you actually agreed with me. So I, I haven't been a fan of lavender for too long but it, start, it has started to grow on me. It is fresh, it's refreshing. Again, I really like the musical notes, especially for your, for your brand and for your niche. So these are very cute and very well done. They hold, held their shape really well. There is no noticeable uh, frosting or jump lines or issues with the surface of these. So that's gonna go into uh, my thoughts about the wax type here shortly. Next up, we've got the three different um, clamshells. Uh, now you wouldn't necessarily look at them and know they're clamshells, but you can feel it. Let's start with this one here. I really like the idea of individually wrapping these in their own tissue paper. That's really cute. Okay, this one is called Magic Man Sandalwood Suede. Well, first of all, if you look, you, you noticed a good mixture of the fragrance oil and the dye and the uh, the wax because you're not seeing these speckles of, of mixture that has settled to the bottom. And sometimes you'll see that happen in wax melts. So it's important to add everything hot enough so everything does have a chance to blend together really well. I do wanna say real quick, so there is some little bit of off color here, uh, but they, they mentioned in their letter that this, they are like brand new, really just starting. So they are experimenting with dyes and trying to get used to their process. So she was aware of this and said, you know, try not to mine the colors too much as she is uh, experimenting. And this is a little bit more of a, a masculine fragrance. So I think the color choice is more appropriate. Although as a reminder, she has since decided to do everything colorless or uh, lavender. I actually agree with you. I think that's a good good idea for your brand. It's kind of a general home fragrance. It's almost like a potpourri. It's not my favorite of the ones so far, but I've never been a huge sandalwood fan anyway, so that might be part of it. Uh, definitely my favorite so far is either the uh, September Sun or the Three Libras. When we start talking about the wax, I'm gonna go back to these melts real quick and pop them out, let you know about the consistency and the texture and all of that here in a second. All right, this one's called Cinnamon Girl. Same color, it looks like here, as the last one, except for it has a few little white, looks like white, Sprinkles on top, I, ma I'm sh I imagine it's wax sprinkles, but ooh, this smells really good. I'd be really curious where they got this fragrance oil from. And the reason I say that is I just did a recent fragrance oil review of my new favorite cinnamon roll fragrance oil that I have used. I've used a lot uh, and most of them are pretty good, just kind of average. And then I've a couple that have been above above par. And so I'm just curious which one they're using here. I'm assuming that uh, being a new candle maker, they're using a lot of the notable kind of common candle suppliers. So um, that I, I would imagine it's from one of those, but I could be wrong. It smells really good. I'm not like totally in love with bakery scents. I prefer more the outdoorsy ones, the woodsy ones, spicy ones, things like that. But it's when something smells good, something smells good. And the last clamshell and last product, Heartbreaker. Well, I love the name for starters. And it is Cactus Blossom and Lavender Sage. Well, that sounds really intriguing. I think I'm gonna like this one. So this one went with the natural color. That smells really good. I don't necessarily know if Heartbreaker is, is gonna make you think of this fragrance or vice versa, but this is my favorite probably of the bunch here, either this or September Sun. 
uh, it's pretty interesting. I like uh, I like some florals personally, so I really do like the cap uh, the lack the cactus blossom um, and you can definitely pick up the sage as well so i am really enjoying this one now one thing i want to mention too uh, before i start snapping these here is you can actually smell the cold throw through the packaging on all of them which is a really nice touch sometimes that can take a while with wax melts because of the plastic casing sometimes it can take a little bit and so i know a lot of people say you know they want to pick up pick up the clamshell and smell it from the outside without having to open it my advice is just to give it time. It usually comes with some time, but not all fragrance oils will do that. Sometimes you just need to open them up to, to be able to smell it pretty good. But all of these do smell good through the containers with the exception of this uh, shot glass one, but that's pretty common. You can definitely smell this one through the packaging really easily. Now this one's thicker packaging, so I don't smell that one as much. Ooh, what's this? Huh, I didn't even notice this before. It's actually got a insert for her business card on the back. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Nice little touch. Would have been a bummer if I didn't notice it though. Okay, let's get back to these clamshells real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take out uh, the heartbreaker and let's see what it's like in consistency. Now, some people will pop these out like while they're in the container. That's totally fine, that's pretty normal. I'm gonna take the entire thing out real quick just because I wanna see a little, I wanna feel the texture a little bit more. There we go. So it pops out real nice. It uh, comes out in one solid piece. It's not too soft. There are a lot of container waxes that are not meant to be used for wax melts. I mean, you can use them, but it makes a soft mess and uh, everything becomes slimy and greasy and it's just too soft to work with. These pop out nice. They hold their shape pretty well. Um, again, they smell great. Now they are a little greasy. Pretty common with, with wax melts, I'll be honest. Usually that means some extra oil has been added. Oh, you know, one other thing I wanna say real quick, if you're going to, if you do decide to stick with just the white colorless wax, I would probably add some color to your label. That would be my only suggestion. If you decide to color your, la your wax uh, lavender, then I would leave the white labels. Maybe add a splash of lavender on the label if you want, but you just, just add a little contrast would be my only tip on the packaging. Okay, let's snap one of these. Okay, snaps apart pretty easily. You don't see any major crumbling going on. It uh, snaps apart nice and clean. Good good wax for your wax melts. Okay, so I'm gonna take a stab at, at this wax. Um, there's a few wax melt waxes that I'm really familiar with, uh, either because I've used them myself or I've sampled and tested them. Some of the ones that I've received in the past have been either a mixture of a Parasoy container wax, like 6006, mixed with a pillar wax, like 4625. This one though, I've used a lot of this wax. Now I'm not gonna like be like, oh hey, I, I'm gonna guess this and guess it right, and you guys are gonna think I'm really awesome because I know this wax. They actually say what the wax is on this letter, and it is Pillar of Bliss Pillar Wax from Nature's Garden. But I am really familiar with this wax, so that wasn't surprising to me at all. It does make a great, great wax for wax melts. Now here's the thing, I have used Pillar of Bliss and other similar wax melt waxes, and um, and I've used them with different fragrance loads, and you can always tell generally, always generally, that doesn't make any sense. You can generally tell when more oil has been added because it goes from more of a matte finish to a, a softer, more oily finish as you add more fragrance oil. Now, based off the texture of this one, I would say at minimum they're using 10%, but I would say they might be upward near 12% or more even. And now I say that because when I have made wax melts with this wax in the past, it wasn't quite as oily as this. Well, some of them were if I needed to add more fragrance oil. But generally speaking, mine were probably a little more matte than this. Um, and I typically use somewhere between, somewhere around 10% with wax melts, usually a little bit, sometimes a little bit less. I would say these are north of that, but I don't know. It doesn't say in the letter, but that would be my guess. The last thing I'll say before we wrap this video up with my feedback from actually using the melts is Dory, if you are looking to potentially firm these up a little bit more so that you can kind of cut down on the oily and some of the soft residue, which again is really, really normal with wax melts, but because you, you do some of these cute designs and you send them in different packaging, if you are looking for a way to firm them up just a little bit, you may consider adding a little bit of IGI 4625. The Pillar of Bliss that you are using is a roughly a 50-50 blend of paraffin and, and soy. And if you add even maybe just 10% of 4625, that will harden it up just, just a little bit where you're not gonna notice anything major structurally as far as 
you know, how it performs and how it looks in the clamshells or anything, but it should firm it up just a tad and make it not quite as soft. Just something to consider, but honestly, these are good. I don't know that I would really mess with it too much. It looks like you've got a really good product here. They smell great. I'm gonna let you know how the hot throw was on them once I've used them, but I don't have any concerns to be honest with them. I think you've done a really good job. If you decide to take this even further, uh, other than really just a hobby, then you're on a good track for sure. I love the lavender with the black and your whole theme. So excellent job. Now for everyone else, thanks for sticking around this long. Stick around just a little bit longer in the rest of this video and I'll let you know how these performed. And in case I forget to mention though, Dory, thank you for sending these in. If anyone else is interested in doing the same thing, just let me know in the comments section and I will see you back here in just a minute. All right, I'm back. That was quick. Without having to do all the wick testing, uh, it's a lot easier to do testing on wax melts. That is for sure. So let me give you a little bit of my feedback. And first and foremost, hopefully everyone noticed that I actually wore lavender. I thought I would show my support. So um, how did these wax melts actually work for me? I didn't expect to have any concerns about the hot throw and I did not after that we were done testing. Uh, the, the hot throw was fine on all of them. I did not have a single one of them that had, you know, like weak hot throw. Um, so they were all really good. My favorite one did turn out to be the uh, Heartbreaker, which was the Cactic Blossom, Cactus Blossom and Lavender Sage, just because I found it to be the most interesting. I think it had a good balance of a few different notes profiles going on. So I really enjoyed that one, although I enjoyed them all. My second favorite ended up actually being the Three Libras, which was the floral with a little bit of perfume. I just happened to like it. Um, I, I thought my second favorite was gonna be the September Sun, and it was really good. I just have some that are kind of similar to it, so it didn't stand out as much. And then the Voodoo was pretty much just lavender. My least favorite was Magic Man, and then followed by the Cinnamon Buns or Cinnamon Girl. But again, the only reason on the Cinnamon Girl was just because I've been smelling a ton of cinnamon rolls lately, and just generally speaking, I'm not a huge Baker fan. But anyways, those are my overall thoughts on the actual fragrances. I thought they were all really, really good, but, uh, the uh, uh, Heartbreaker ended up being my, my personal favorite. As far as how they actually melted, I, I don't I don't have any footage, unfortunately, of, of them melting. Um, I, I, to be honest, I didn't think about it. They were just, it was just liquid sitting in a melter. So it wasn't really anything to look at <laughs> visually, um, but uh, they all melted down fairly quickly and, and with relative ease. I did use a different couple different bulb temperatures just to make sure that I didn't have issues with some warmers versus others, and I did not. And then when they hardened back up, they generally hardened into one piece that was fairly easy to remove. Now, there are different warmers that make wax melts easier or not as easy to remove. Some of those uh, porcelain ones or concrete ones, they it's hard, it almost kind of comes up in chunks and it is what it is. That isn't it's something necessarily wrong with your wax melt or your, your, your product or your wax. It's just some warmers, it's easier to get them out than others. Uh, for the most part, these came up in a good uniform piece. I think they performed really, really well. As far as how, how long the fragrance lasted, it's really, really tough to answer. Uh, I know everyone wants to know, how long should a wax melt fragrance last? Like how long should one cube last you? One day, two days, three days longer? It's almost impossible to answer because it just highly depends on the fragrance too. And it depends on the burner. So generally speaking, here's kind of a rule to keep in mind. If it's a hotter burner, meaning a, a burner with a hotter bulb, you're gonna get stronger, faster hot throw. It's gonna melt quicker and the hot throw will be better usually. But it also won't last as long because you're melting that melt faster and you're evaporating the fragrance oil faster. So stronger, but less time overall. And then of course, conversely to that is if you want to stretch out the fragrance over more days, then you would use a, a lower uh, bulb wattage for your melter. So you might not have the strongest fragrance throw compared to the other option, but it should last you more days. Now, again, those are just general guidelines. There are obviously exceptions to the rule. And I also mentioned that fragrance oil plays a huge part in that as well. And that is true because some fragrance oils are stronger than others and weaker than others. So how strong it should be when you're burning it or melting it, you just, there's just no way to really answer that specifically. My general advice is make your product and if you, and then test it like you're a customer. If you imagine you picked it up off the store and then you place these wax melts in your warmer and then you turn them on, how would you use it if you were a regular customer? And then how do you think it performed? Put yourself in your customer's shoes and then just see what you thought about your product. If it helps, go buy some other wax melts off the shelf uh, from local stores and just compare them. Do you think yours last longer? Do you think yours are stronger? Because that's a good selling point for you for marketing purposes. You can say our melts last longer uh, or our melts are generally stronger. I mean, it, it just, there's so many ways to answer that question. That's really, really tough. And that's why you don't see a good definitive answer from someone says, how long should I wax melts last? 
As far as these ones, I had no problems with these, uh, a single cube or two cubes put in the warmer. I had no problems with them lasting several days. So um, I used the same two, I, I know for at least three days and it was still fine after three days. Obviously, gradually we'll get weaker and weaker and then eventually you get to the point where you swap them out. But there's just no hard fast rule, unfortunately. All I would say is you've done a good job and you, and you have no concerns here with your product. So great job overall. Um, I think you should be pleased with your work and really, especially for not doing this for very long, your branding and everything and your your theme that you're going for, I think it's really, really nice. So you're on to something for sure. Good luck to you in the future. If you have any more questions or comments, please feel free to le reach out to me. And for everyone else that did watch this video, please give your feedback in the uh, comment section below. Thank you all for tuning in and I will see you all next time.